Hi, thanks for joining me today. This video is going to focus on a flow that does some special work for our hands and our feet. Our hands and feet work hard for us, so we're gonna add some little extra stretches and love for our hands and our feet during this sequence. So we're gonna start standing. <clears throat> so come into mountain pose. So we wanna have the feet hip distance apart. So lining up the heels, the knees, and the points of the hips. <clears throat> and think of keeping the outside edges of the feet a little parallel with the ends of your mat. And then lift all your toes up off the mat, spread the toes, and place the toes back down so you have a little space between, <clears throat> excuse me, between your toes, um, between the toes so you can see your mat down between them. <clears throat> Sorry, little frog today. And then think of lifting the inner arch of the foot, lift the kneecaps up, lift the sternum up, lengthen up through the crown of the head, let the hands come down by your side. <clears throat> and in this mountain pose, when you look down at the hands, make sure the hands aren't, first of all, don't hyperextend through the fingers. Think of keeping a nice straight line and make sure the wrists aren't cocked in or out. So think of a nice straight line <clears throat> down the arm. And then just take a moment or two, close the eyes, just notice the connection that your feet are making with the earth and just notice any sensations that you feel in the body. Bring awareness to your breath. Steady breathing in and out of the nose. And then very gently letting the eyes open. We're gonna inhale, float the arms all the way up and overhead. As you float the arms up, lift the toes up off the mat. And then as you float the arms down, turning the palms down, think of spreading those toes again and placing the toes back down on the mat, finding that conscious footing. So do that a couple times with the breath. Inhale, lift the toes, float the arms all the way up and overhead. And then exhale, float the arms down, spreading the toes, place the toes back down on the mat. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, arms float up, lifting the toes up so you can feel all four corners of the feet, ball joint of the big toe, the little toe, and the two corners of your heels in an outer. And then arms float down, spread the toes, place the toes down once more, inhale. And exhale. And then this time, just leaving the toes down, we're gonna float the arms up and overhead, bring the palms together, interlace the fingers, press up through the palms. So nice stretch across the palms. You may feel that a little bit in the forearms too. Inhale and exhale. Think of drawing the lowest ribs towards the hips so we keep those core muscles engaged. And then as you take your next inhale, release the hands. And as you exhale, wiggle the fingers as you float your arms all the way back down. And then once again, inhale, float the arms all the way up and overhead. Bring the palms together. And then as you exhale this time, bring the hands down the center of the midline of the, to the heart. Bend the knees and we're gonna fold all the way down to a standing forward bend. So let the knees really bend. Lift one foot up and place your fingers and hands as much as you can under that foot and lift the other foot up, same thing. So we're getting a little massage here for the hands by pressing the toes into the palm. So that the crown of the head release down and again, bend the knees as much as you need to. And maybe it's just your fingers that are here, that's fine. But just take that little forward bend, again, nice big bend in the knees. Crown of the head releasing down, inhaling and exhaling. And then release the hands from underneath the feet. Bend your, uh, soften the knees a little bit. Inhale, come halfway up to the legs, straighten slightly, press down through the feet. And now bend your knees out over your toes, sit bones behind you. Bring your arms forward to our traditional chair pose. So in this chair pose, knees are tracking right over the second and third toe. We're making sure we have even weight in the feet, especially a little bit more weight in the heel. Now turn your palms so that they face up, and then we're just gonna rotate the hands and the arms so the palms face down. So inhale, rotate, palms face up, and then exhale, rotate, palms face down. So working a little muscles in the arms here and the wrist, palms face up, 
exhale, palms face down. Good, one more time, inhale and exhale. And then bring the palms together, bring the hands to the heart, press into the palms, arms out to the side. So we get that little stretch across the palms and then fold all the way down. Bring both hands to the mat and we're gonna step back to downward facing dog. So as we do this, feet hip distance apart, but bring your hands a little wider than usual towards the outside edges of your mat. Really press into the fingertips and the base of the knuckles. Think of drawing the shoulders away from the ears. So finding that maybe a little bit of different feeling in the hands with the hands a little wider, and then slowly begin to pedal through your feet. So bend one knee, let the other leg straighten, get a nice stretch in the back of that leg, and then switch to the opposite leg. So I'll do this a couple times. And as you do this, start to roll across the toes of that bent knee, so pressing the top of the foot into the mat. So you're getting a stretch up the front of the leg, and then switching sides, press down through the heel, bend the opposite knee, and then roll across the toes of that foot. Just to do that a couple times with your breath. Steady, even flow with your breath. And then come way up onto the toes, straighten both legs and your chest towards your thighs, and then release the knees down to the mat. Keep those toes curled under. So bring the knees pretty close together. And we're gonna come into a variation of a toe uh, for our toe and foot stretch here. So some of you may find that just curling the toes under gives you enough stretch, or you can start to walk back, bringing the hands back towards the knees, and then maybe coming up with the hands on the thighs. So do what feels appropriate for your feet. This can be a pretty intense stretch. So find your breath, whatever variation you're in. And again, it might be here or even here, but few breaths. Inhale and exhale. Lengthen up through the crown of the head. Inhaling and exhaling. And then very gently inhale, float the arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Come to table pose, uncurl the toes, press the toes into the tops of the mat, or tops of the toes into the mat, and then fold all the way back, sweep the hands back beside the feet, come to a child pose, forehead to the mat. If your forehead doesn't come all the way down, you can use a yoga block or a stack of books or even a cushion to let your head rest on. But take a few breaths there, again, getting that stretch across the fronts of the ankle, tops of the feet, backs of the hands. And now sweep the arms around in front so the arms are facing forward. Come into little spidey fingers. So we're up onto the tips of all the fingers. We're getting a little arch in the hand. Forearms are off, arms are off the mat, inhaling and exhaling. Imagine you're trying to drag the hands back towards you. Think of drawing the shoulders down away from the ears and then slowly begin to place the knuckles of the fingers back down to the mat. Let the wrist release down, the forearm release down. Take a breath, let the arms be heavy. Inhaling and exhaling. And then inhale, lift the gaze slightly towards the hands. We're gonna come all the way onto our belly. So extend your arms all the way forward and your legs all the way back. Arms overhead, palms to the mat, feet hip distance apart, press into the tops of the feet, energy in the legs. Lift the head and then walk the elbows back underneath the shoulders coming to sphinx pose so we want this 90 degree angle here the forearms are parallel with each other press into the palms press into the feet draw the shoulder blades together and then keeping the gaze a little down towards the hands now we're letting the head collapse we're still lengthening through the crown of the head but soft gaze down just begin to work a little bit with the hands so lift your thumbs up off the mat and then place your thumbs down and then lift your index fingers up and place them down and lift the middle fingers up and place them down and then the ring finger and place them back down 
and then the pinky finger. And you might notice some fingers can move more than others and place them back down. Another breath, inhale and exhale. And then gently bring the elbows out to the side. Bring your arms into a T position, palms to the floor, shoulder height. Turn your head to one side, really press the palms into the mat. Get that nice stretch in the palms. Inhale and exhale, turn your head the opposite direction. Take a breath, inhale and exhale. And then bring the forehead back to the mat. Bring the hands beside the chest. Hug your elbows in. Press up to table pose. So as you set up for your table pose, wrist under shoulders, knees under hips. Exhale, round the spine to cat pose, drawing the belly in and up. Let the head release down. As you inhale, send your sit bones back. Lengthen the front of the body. Curl the toes under as you take your gaze up into our cow pose. So we're going to do that with the breath. So exhale round the spine, uncurl the toes, press the tops of the feet to the mat. Inhale, send the sit bones back, curl the toes under, lift the heart and the sternum, take the gaze up. Good. Once again, exhale round the spine, press the tops of the feet down and then inhale, lifting and lengthening out of the front of the body, curl the toes under. And then keeping those toes curled under, come back to neutral with the spine. So once again, let's bring the hands in front. Again, a little wider for our downward facing dog. Curl those toes under, really press into the fingertips, base of the knuckles. Inhale and exhale. So legs nice and straight this time. We're going to inhale, come way up onto the toes. And then exhale, release the heels down. Even if the heels aren't coming down and touching the mat, think of lifting your toes up. And then inhale, lift the heels up. Exhale, lower the heels and lift the toes. And inhale, lift the heels up. And exhale, lower the heels and think of lifting the toes. Again, it doesn't matter if they come off the mat or not, but just think of lifting them up. That engages the muscles. Inhale, one more time, lift up. And exhale. Heels down, toes lifted. Lift, excuse me. Now release the knees, knees down to the mat and just swing the feet to one side. We're going to come into Dandasana staff pose. So extend your legs all the way out. You can spiral the thighs inward a little bit here. So we're going to do the traditional and then a non-traditional version of um, staff pose. So traditional hands down beside the hips, palms facing forward. So it's a nice um, extension here for the wrist. But now we're going to take, make a soft fist with the hands and curling those wrists back. Press into the backs of the hands or the knuckles, whatever lands for you. So get that nice stretch across the top, uh, front of the wrist, top of the wrist and the forearm. Keep the feet flexed, inhale and exhale. And then once again, bring the hands back, palms to the mat, press into the palms. Again, draw the shoulders back, inhale and exhale and then float the arms all the way up and overhead. Bring the palms together, interlace the fingers once again, press up through the palms and then bring the hands to shoulder height, chest height, nice deep inhale, exhale, rotate, little twist to the right, press through the palms, inhale back to center, exhale, rotate, use those core muscles, twist to the left and then back to center. Arms again overhead, release the hands, wiggle the fingers as the hands come back down and just come to a comfortable seated position. You can keep the legs extended out. You can come cross-legged. Take your hands, rub your hands together, like a little heat, and then just place your hands right on your heart. Close the eyes, take a few breaths, just notice how you feel. And then as you're ready, gently let the eyes open, let the hands come comfortably down to rest on the thighs. So thanks for joining me today. I hope that gave you a few ideas of how you can 
during your traditional um, yoga practice, add a little attention and care in for the hands. You know, we did some traditional poses with uh, a few extra things for the hands and the feet. Our hands and the feet work hard for us. We don't really think about them until they start to hurt. So hopefully we can do some things to help them um, so that they don't start hurting. So have a great day. Thanks again for joining me and I hope to see you sometime soon in the saddle or on the mat. Thanks. Bye-bye.